right, so we're going to talk about differences here between a um, carbine and a Hoover Empower. Well, the differences that you see right away is this one has a attachments that come with it, which obviously you can take the uh, power nozzle off the front of this machine and put a vacuum hose on it, and you can transfer it into a shampooer system. Versus this machine, you cannot. This is just a traditional upright vacuum, and it has different ways of adjusting the height versus a Kirby does. Now, the way a Kirby's, you can adjust the front of these with a toe touch control. This machine here, just like those back there, has what they call a toe touch control, which lowers and raises the front of the machine. And it looks like my sentry is a bit dusty. But anyhow, and then versus this one, you have a knob on the front to raise and lower the front. So right now I have it set on medium carpet. Which, I don't know if this would be medium or what, but that's just where I always run it. And also the difference, you look right away, is the handles, okay? Which is quite obvious, guys. This one here really grabs the carpet. So, shall we do a quick little challenge? Um, the difference is, the problem is with the Hoover M-Power, and... Here's what I see the problem with the M-Powers. There's a grid inside this canister. If that grid in there gets clogged up, the machine loses suction. Versus to where the Kirby doesn't lose suction at all. Unless this here gets stopped up, which you can always shake that out. And if this machine were to get clogged up, you can simply put a hose on the side of the machine and reverse the suction and blow whatever it is that's backing the machine up. And this one you cannot. You basically have to use a wire hanger to unclog the hose, so on and so forth. And I will show you the differences in another video, but how they, you know, how they differ. Yeah, they differ. But the handle on this one. Oh, another thing that differs this machine from a Kirby. You know, it's already got the hose. And attachments on board located on the back of this machine versus the attachments come with this one <coughs> separate. They're not attached. See, Kirby done away, you know, did something completely different from what Hoover did with their attachments. So you can easily, like I said, easily transfer this machine into a carpet shampooer system. And you can also. You know, turn it into a canister mode by taking the handle off and putting a carrying handle, portable carrying handle, right where this handle goes. And the bag will clip into that. This part of the bag will clip in. This one, you cannot do that. As the storage, you know, when you can store them, if you want to store them, a lot of people, you know, I've seen in the G5 owner's manual video, if you want to store your Kirby, I would uh, disengage your brush roll. Well, I leave the belt off, on, you know, don't even. But what you do, there's a uh, little control here which tells you how far the handle can go back. And you can uh, change that. See, it's in the position where the handle will not go back all the way. So you can change that and lower it all the way and then lock it back when you store it. This machine will never be stored, so... <coughs> Just to kind of give you a little um, difference here. And with this one, when you want to store it, this one... Hang on, i got to put my camera somewhere where... It can be seen what I'm doing. 
All right, guys. <coughs> so compared to that, to the Kirby, how you store it, the difference is with the Hoover Empower. If you want to store this in a closet, in like a tight storage place, and you cannot have the handle up, this machine features where you can actually lay the handle down with the flip of a switch right here. Now it's ready to be stored. But since this machine, I don't store it. There you go. In another video, I will show you the differences between how the machines run. In another video. Other than the height adjusters, adjustment. Oh yes, and getting to, getting to headlight on this is much different compared to a Kirby. Um, there are two screws right here in the headlight lens. Yeah, two screws right here. <coughs> this piece comes out, and also the hep There's a fil I think there's a filter behind this too, but there's also a filter in the canister of this machine. And you also got to watch and keep it clean. And just like if you were to get um, stuff in the uh, in that grid on this side where your dirt goes, it's the same thing. If the filter gets dirty, you're going to lose suction. Versus a Kirby, you don't really have a HEPA filtration system. It's got a micro, or whatever it's called. Micron magic system, filtration is what it's called. I guess it's Kirby's version of the HEPA filtration system. So, these guys have different HEPA filtration system versus Kirby's. So like the Sentry, they got the HEPA bags. So that's how they get the filtration system in that one. <coughs> in another video, I'll be more than happy to do a challenge. Kirby G10 Sentry versus Hoover Empower. Uber Empire from 2005, Century is from 2011. And with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for watching.